Hi, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm and another day building the chicken coop. This chicken coop build has gone through several stages. You can see that by going to the playlist for the dog kennel to chicken coop build. Today for this episode, we're going to focus on preparing the roof to receive the metal sheet metal and also I want to see if we can build a door so that we can make this start looking a lot more like a coop. I went to the scrap pile, the pile that came from the barn teardown, and I picked up some long 2x6s. We're going to use 2x6s up here on the metal structure, and that's going to give us a platform to put our sheet metal on. Now the reason I'm using 2x6s instead of 1x4s, which would easily do this job, if you go back to the horse barn build, you'll see that I put those on with 1x4s and they work just fine. But two reasons why I'm using the bigger, heavier boards. One is in my scrap pile, they're the only boards that, there's my scrap pile back there. They are the only boards long enough to do what I want to do, and they're heavy. And that's gonna be a good thing for when the roof picks up a little bit of wind. That extra weight is gonna help hold that down. At least that's my hope. I'll be attaching the two by sixes to the bars using these here. One screw on each side like this. Want to make sure those are at least close to the same on the overhang they are all cut on an angle because these used to be uh, the rafters to the barns that first one is going to be resting right on top of that screw right there i'm just going to let that be my guide for the first board and it's the same on this end over here i know there's going to be a little gap here which i might have to close up before it's all over so that you know snakes and things can't climb through there but we'll assess that later for now that's going to be my guide i'll be attaching the strap just by putting it over the bar and then putting a screw in each side with that first one attached now i can take these and move them up and space them out and get those attached I'll use two pieces of scrap wood cut to the same length to help me get the spacing the same on both sides.
Luke came out to help me. He's going to be holding straps and handing them to me when I need to finish this up. I got a few more to put on. Thanks, Luke. You're welcome. two straps per board per pole. I think that'll be enough to hold those on uh, even it's definitely enough to hold them on right now. The challenge and the test will be when we get the sheet metal on there and we get a little bit of wind under here is that going to be enough to hold on then and I think it will be. Mama Curbs was just out here and she said is two straps per board per pole overkill and I say it might be but I'd rather it be a little bit overkill for a few extra dollars than be not enough and then come out here someday after a storm and decide, you know, try to figure out how to put a roof back on my chicken coop. Step back and take a look. This is the chicken coop right now. And I think right, it's starting to look like a coop. It looks pretty good. My roof is on, at least the, the boards in preparation for the roof. The door opening is in place. I still need to figure out some of the verticals depending on how I'm going to build this out. Then we'll figure out how to get some wire on here. Stepping into the coop in this back corner is where the little the coop house, the chicken house is going to be. The back wall is going to be solid. A little bit of a solid wall over here. This is going to be all open wire. The door will be open wire from top to bottom. I think we're going to skip building the door right now. I was going to do that right now, but I, instead I want to go down here on the end of the structure here where the roof is and dress that up a little bit and provide a way for me to close that up. That took a little doing, but I got ratchet straps holding two boards up in place. I will secure them with screws through the top. like to finish this right now but uh, Luke is on a feeding schedule he's got a feeding tube I gotta go inside and take care of that the timer went off buddy let's go inside and eat Can I yep we got to get hooked up all right you okay while I go out and work okay I'll see you in a little bit it's important to keep that schedule when he's on you know for the feeding tube it's not easy to catch up and make up later on if you miss your scheduled feeding. Okay, now that we're back out here, let's go ahead and finish getting all of this attached and then we'll build the other end.
while we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and trim the ends of these off to make them all even. I was trying to position my camera on the roof and it just fell off and broke the mount to the audio. I think it'll still work. better I got six ends cut off and they're all pretty close to even now we go do the same thing on the other end with no camera person I will say that this is uh, it's a bit challenging to get on on uh, I was gonna say on film get it recorded but I did get this end put up now I got to get the the ends of the board Whew, let me slow down I got the boards underneath on. Now I need to trim the ends of these rafter boards off. Looks good. <laughs> I think I've made enough progress today. It's looking a lot more like a chicken coop. In fact, it looks more like a chicken coop every time I come out here. I'm going to clean my tools up, go in, check on Luke, take care of things inside, and get to editing some video. Thank you very much for being with me in this episode of converting the dog kennel to the chicken coop. It's a lot of fun, and I'm glad you're here to share that with me. I truly believe that everyone has a story, and every story counts. Thank you for being a part of my story tonight and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.